Hello world, welcome to SDS Art Fusion and in this video I will be talking about art supplies. So let's get started. In the first segment we will be talking about the basic art tools. These are the absolute necessary tools for drawing a mandala. This segment is about pens and fine liners. So I have the Steak Hi-Fi fine liners. These are very affordable and very beginner friendly. Next I have is Graphic Plus fine liner from Luxor. These are Artline drawing system fine liners and I mostly use them for text portraits and fine mandalas. Next I have this Pentonic gel pens. These Pentonic gel pens are a very good option for beginners. These are the Stedlers Tri Plus fine liners. Next, I have Stabilo 0.88 fine liners, assorted set of 10 colors. Here, I have the three varieties of jelly roll pens, neon, moonlight and metallic. These are one of the most magical pens that I have ever used. They work so well on dark surfaces. I mostly use my jelly roll pens to create mandalas on black background. Look how bright and vibrant these shapes are. I have these Uniball Sino pens, silver, gold and white. They too work very nicely on dark surfaces. I also have a random bunch of sketch pens. And these are the Artline Supreme Fine Pen. This segment is about the water based colors. These are my Camelin poster colors and these are almost 10 years old. I use them as a beginner and they still work fine. Next I have my Fevicryl and Camlin acrylic colors. I use them to work on different surfaces like terracotta fabric etc. These are camel watercolor cakes and are very good for beginners. Next I have these watercolor tubes from Doms. This set has 12 colors. The colors are very nice and vibrant. Here I have my Karin brush marker pro mega box of 60 colors. I received this as a prize from Karen Markers. These markers are very vibrant and very juicy. And here I have Pigment Deco Brush from Karen Markers. These are acrylic based brush markers. I have received this set also as a prize from Karen Markers. These markers are very vibrant and very juicy and can work equally well on dark and light surfaces. Next, I have my Camlin Brush Pen set of 24 shades. These brush pens work very nicely and have a vibrant range of colors. This segment is about pencils. These are Stedler Luna Aquarel Watercolor Pencils. They are water soluble and are very vibrant and can blend very nicely. Next I have my Camlin and Faber Castle Color Pencils. These Camlin color pencils have a very nice range of colors and these pencils work very smoothly. These are my Faber Castle color pencils. These pencils are more than 10 years old and they still work very nicely. For graphite artworks, I use these Artline graphite pencils and I also use the Camlin graphite pencils as well. Next, I have my oldest plastic crayons and oil pastels and I still use them for highlighting my artworks. This segment is about sketchbooks and papers. I usually use sketchpads that are of 140 or 150 GSM as you can work with any medium on them very easily. I also use these colorful papers and black papers that are of 200 GSM to draw mandalas. This is Fevicryl Mod Podge and I use this as a varnish. I also have these dotting tools for creating dot mandalas. So here are all the supplies that I use. If you have any question you can ask them in the comment section below. I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching.